Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our first personal break tonight and as you guys can see on screen here, do have five booster boxes here of White Schwartz Fate Grand Order, Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia for 1A from Texas. So thank you so much Juan for letting me open up even more Weiss for you here on the channel. Hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now four of these boxes, I don't know if it was these exact four right here, but I'll just bracket them off. Four of these boxes were the last four from our first case and then one I did have to go ahead and crack out a new case and open that on up. That is the last case that we had in stock. Unless my memory is completely failing me, we haven't seen any kind of SP or Secret Rare come out of these boxes. The first box of Fate Grand Order was actually a loose box. We'll go ahead and link that video there. We did find the Secret Rare mash. It was just, like I said, one loose box that we had. So I'm very curious to see what we'll find here this evening. Of course, there has been a box open for packs in the shop. Mayor sold a box or two there, but I think the odds are in our favor here tonight for one. Juan has had me open several boxes of Fate Grand Order for him here on the channel, especially during our live personal breaks, and we hadn't seen anything there. Did get him a Wiz SP out of Konosuba the movie. Also got him some really nice pulls out of the Data Live boxes when those released. But I'm curious and very excited to see what we'll find here tonight. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. I think the longest personal break video that we've had that hasn't been a live personal break has been like about an hour. I think there's a couple. I believe our longest personal break, though, was four jumbo boxes of Series 2 2020 baseball. That took about two hours. But recorded video, I think our longest has been an hour. So we may get there tonight. May not. I've started picking up the pace a bit in my Weiss opening. So let's see. Anyways, that that's not important. Let's just go ahead and get on into these boxes. Bye. Rude. Zapping us into the corner. Let's get started. Not starting over. I am just ready to open up some Fate Grand Order. So I'm going to go ahead and set these four boxes off to the side. Get started here with box number one. We'll have to clear off the playmat on occasion. Move over the piles of commons and uncommons. And then we'll do a recap at the end of box number five. 20 packs per box. So 100 packs of Fate Grand Order here tonight. Let's get on into box number one. Do, of course, have my handy dandy scissors with me. And our first promo is SD Gilgamesh. I think there are five promos here for Grand Order. But let me just throw that box behind me. Let's just get started. Pack number one. Also, we did put in Slime 2 went up for order today. I was talking with Bossman. We did put in for five cases with Southern Hobby. And I know we'll order some more from GTS as well. Uh, just so that way, in case anything happens, I mean, Weiss is print to order, but I'm a little suspicious sometimes with Southern. So just so that way we can get a decent amount, we'll order from multiple distributors. So I'm excited for that to come out. Didn't open a, when I got reincarnated as a slime volume one when that released. Um, we just, before we kind of had the channel, we just kind of ordered sets that people would pre-order. Be like, hey, we want you to order this for us. And we would do so. Like we actually had a couple people pre-order cases of No Game No Life when that came out, when it was announced. We had several people come in asking for boxes, so we had done pre-orders for that, but otherwise it was just kind of you know, whatever people asked for. And then Bossman wanted a lot of Batman Ninja. And then no one bought Batman Ninja. And then we put it on Clarence, and now Batman Ninja is like $100 a box. So then things happen, but I had wanted JoJo, so I had had Bossman order a lot of JoJo. And then now it's for a little while, it's just like, oh, we'll just order popular sets. And now we're just going to be ordering every Y set from here on out that comes out. So we do have Bofuri on order. It's actually on my calendar here. Should be out May 21st. Bofuri will be here. We'll have Seven Deadly Sins when that releases. Kaguya-sama, Fate Stay Night, Heaven's Field Volume 2. And now Slime 2 is officially on our pre-order sheet. So that'll be exciting. Definitely have to look into several of those shows so I can be a bit, a bit more familiar with them when they release. We've had a lot of double R's here at the front of the box. That is our third there. Time for the final battle, Gilgamesh. And we'll see how many two foil boxes we can have here. It'd be great if all five boxes were two foil boxes. I think that's a little bit against the odds, but hey, I mean, you never know. So we'll just have to try and find out. Splendid appearance, Arashkigai. Belief in her choice. Raising her shield, Mash. Mm -hmm. 
I am getting more and more certain by the day that I will never be able to obtain that world's promo Sakura card that I need to, I guess, truly complete my English card captor Sakura collection. Uh, last I had seen, someone was looking to buy it and they had an offer of $3,000 for it. So I don't think I'm ever gonna get one, but I'll mention it. I like to bring it up every wise video. If anybody has one or they know where I can find it, let me know. I don't think it's gonna work out, but let me know. That is the only card I'm missing now. I did go ahead recently and go ahead and get the remaining two SPs that I needed. I'd already had all the secrets. So I grabbed those first. Um, now I got to finish off my Japanese set, and I also need to finish off my JoJo set, although I'm about a week too late since there was all the, the buyouts on all the SSPs and the secret rare for the JoJo set. Thanks, Rudy. I like Rudy. I was trying to get those on the cheap. Like, to be fair, when you think about it, if a secret, a secret, you have like one every two master, one every master case, right? So every two regular cases. So about one every 32 boxes, and it's only $105. That's a bit cheap. But like, come on, I want, I want, I wanted it. And also the Giorno and the Bruno SSPs are quite expensive now. Um, yeah, and the Diavolo Secrets. I am still missing a good chunk of the SPs as well. I just, I never got around to picking those up when the set came out, which is what I probably should have done, but just keeping my eyes out for them. Maybe someone will have like a lot of JoJo foils on like the Facebook auction group for Weiss. It'd be pretty cool, but. That's why recently I, I've been having, I've been like, ooh, I need to go ahead and complete my Y sets. I have a feeling they're going to pop soon. And they did, and I missed out, so. It is what it is, but. You do have one. We do actually have a JoJo box left. It's on the shelf. I'm not going to buy it. I don't know that I feel anything special out of that one. If it sits there long enough, I might start eyeballing it, but I don't know. I don't know. I remember we had gotten a restock. Southern had, like, four boxes or so loose boxes randomly and we'd order them and someone actually had bought one as a personal break and I'd opened another of the Giorno so that was a cool I ran one out of four boxes just randomly pulled that Giorno SSP so that was pretty cool that was a pretty early on live stream here on the channel don't remember when but it was definitely before we had all the new cameras new computers fancy fancy little box here that goes woo some of you haven't noticed Sometimes you guys notice when it's lagging and it jumps around, but this actually moves. The little, the blue and the white are chasing each other around the box. It's cute. I like it. Titan colors, blue and white. I like it. I like it. So, I mean, there could be other stuff in there, but out of those four boxes, there had been an SSP pulled, so. I don't know. I mean, of course, they're just loose boxes. Who knows? They could have been from multiple cases, just random around the warehouse, just, but I don't know. I also, there was a No Game No Life box on the shelf. I, I repriced it and listed it. I don't know why it was on the shelf still. There's also, I found two boxes of Bunko. Did not relist those yet, because I think last time we had sold our Bunko boxes, Boss Man was like, I'll just keep those for a little bit. So we're still hanging on to them. They're pretty cool. There's an Uncommon that got mixed in the common pile. But we are getting close to perhaps the three-quarter point of this box, and we haven't found any foils in box number one for one. So hopefully we'll change that very quickly, very soon. But go ahead and let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. What are we going to find here? We have an SR, Battle Where Sand Clouds Whirl, Gilgamesh. That's cool. I like that. Whatever that is. Super cool. But I mean, like, what do you think? We're going to find another mash? Do you think we're going to find... How many SPs? How many... How many rare pulls do you think we're going to find here? Go ahead and let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Ten minutes in, not even done with box number one. Are we going to have a record-breaking length personal break? I hope not. I'd like this video to get up prior to midnight. It's 9 p.m. right now when I'm filming. Towards the final singularity, mash, double R. So I'll just start to pick up the pace a little bit, but don't want to rush too much. Want to, of course, have fun with the opening and still be able to provide quality entertainment for one and all of you out there watching, of course. Rare Pledge Severed, Ereshki Guy. I haven't seen any new announcements for more sets that are going to be coming over this year. I don't know if Slime's like the final set. I think it was estimating September or so. 
You'd think maybe there'd be like a new set maybe in December, but there are there is a pretty decent schedule for Weiss products coming out in the near nearish future. But I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm always kind of hopeful that it'll be a series that I watch, and then also it's like, why would I want that? Why would I want to bring that upon myself to have to collect another set? But the cards are so cool. Really, the more I open, the more more big of a fan I become of Weiss. We have all that was wished for, Kingu. Absolute Tactics, Kingu. All right, last pack of box number one. Are we going to have a two foil box? We're we starting on the one foil box. We have a two foil box. We have Belief in Her Choice, Triple R. Very cool. Her hair is not shiny. That's what's standing out to me. Face and the hair is not shiny. All right, let's get that mash sleeved on up. Two foil box to start off here for one. So no SP or anything here in box number one, but two foils. Still always better than just one foil. So I think we're starting off pretty nice. All right, box number two. Let's get on into it. I'm curious to see if we can get all different promos. We have SD Ishtar. Her outfit's very cute. And I really like her hair. Let's go ahead and take out those next 20 packs. Box is empty. It can get yeet. All right. Pack number one. Box number two. Bringing the underworld beneath Uruk, a Rushki guy. Double R King, who leads the people, Gilgamesh. Coordination with comrades, Mash. Observing the state of battle, Kingu. Steady accumulation, Arashkigai. Actually, we did find our first ever SSR, which I, I believe is the equivalent of an SSP out of our Vanguard openings on Wednesday. Did find for Michael B. We found an Eve Wakamiya SSR. Very gorgeous. I've never seen one in person or, like I said, pulled one before. So that was a fun experience. If you guys missed that video, I do recommend you check it out. It is not Y Schwartz, but it is Vanguard's. Both products by Bushiroad. And, of course, Bushiroad has made a lot of Bang Dream Y sets, so you might recognize some of the characters. And speaking of Vanguard and Weiss Bang Dream, we actually have a box of Bang Dream Volume 2 and another Cardfight Vanguard box for, I believe, Alex B. coming up sometime next week. Not 100% certain on the date. Uh, it really depends on what I'm able to get to tonight. I do intend to get through two collector booster box of personal breaks of Strixhaven as well. Uh, but of course it depends, like I may have mentioned already. I know I've thought about it in my head, but how long it takes for this recording and then also export time. Uh, because it does take about time and a half to export. So, would like that video to get up before midnight. If not, I may just wait until Monday. Double R Goddess who rules over Venus, Ishtar. Might go ahead and do it anyways. I don't know. We'll see. But I do hope to have two more personal breaks coming up after this one of more matched gathering Strixhaven. Maybe we'll find our first Demonic Tutor. Have not, out of any Collector Boosters, found any kind of Demonic Tutor. Which is a bit upsetting and also very weird. Probably close to almost three cases, three six-box cases, almost 18 boxes of Collector Boosters open on total on the channel of Strixhaven. 
no demonic tutor of any kind. Feels a bit short printed. Although we've had someone open up a box in the shop that's had one of each kind, so. I think I'm just being unlucky in that department. Time for the final battle, Gilgamesh. And I think we are approximately at the halfway point to box number two. Again, zero foils so far. Box number one did end up having two foils. So I'm not worried just quite yet, but let's just keep going here. We have towards the final singularity mash, double R. Got a style contract, Ishtar. All that was wished for, Kingu. Shared Journey, MASH. That was a double R, wrong pile. Ooh, what's that? That looks fancy. I like it. I like the texture. Oh. Looks like we have an SP here because of that text. And we do have time for the final battle, Gilgamesh. SP, very cool. Of course, with the voice actor signature and most likely a quotation. SPs are so gorgeous. I love them, love them so much. That is awesome texture. And of course, you can feel it as well on the card. Very nice. Time for the final battle, Gilgamesh. All right, so foil number one of box number two is an SB. Let me go ahead and get that top loaded here for one. All right, those of you who said zero SPs in the comment section, we've already beaten your prediction. Let's go ahead and make a new pile. Very cool, Gilgamesh SP for one. Has anyone ever pulled two SPs in the same box? I feel like it wouldn't get packed out that way, but maybe there's been an error box that has had multiple SPs in the same box. That would be very interesting to see here. Grandcaster Merlin Rare. Reassuring Ally Ishtar. Or is she reassuring me? What is she saying? Reassuring Ally or reassuring Ally? The world may never know, except those of you who've seen Fate Grand Order, which I have not. I have some friends that are really obsessed with like all the different fate shows and the the games and whatnot. Head on fight, Quetzcoatl. Oh, also speaking of Quetzcoatl, I was on Reddit the other day and was somehow led, I don't know if it was maybe like a cringe post about weebs or something, but I was led to an actual PhD thesis paper uh, on the aerodynamicism of the Quetzcoatl character from the <sighs> Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. It was actually a really entertaining read. The paper is free to read. Uh, I don't remember how I how it was titled, but it was asking if unreasonably large, like Max, and like it's not going to get bigger than that. Like big busted women, if they are more aerodynamic than the apparently the saying flat is justice it was a great read i loved it it, it was <laughs> i was impressed and also very confused at the same time I do have a two foil box here recollections through battle but oh it was a great read great read definitely recommend it if you guys can find that paper or or if someone asks i might be able to find it again and link it maybe like top comment or something in the in the comment section but just seeing the name Quetzcoatl reminded me. I've never seen Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. But like I was like, I've, I've heard of the series. I've never watched it. But I, I was intrigued. And I wanted to read that paper. And I read it. It was good. I won't spoil it. Raising her shield mash. 
I was like, this could have been me if I chose to go to grad school. And like computational dynamics of, I don't know, like a bleach fight. I don't know, something. I could have been cool. I could have been a legend, but I decided to just do YouTube videos. And that wasn't even real like a decision. It just kind of happened. But like reading it for like a split second, I was like, I should go to grad school. And then I was like, why would I do that to myself? No, Allie, stop. All right, box is empty. And I think I see purple sticking out, which means we have a third different promo. Hey, it's MASH. MASH is cute. I like the little chibis. The chibis are cute. Sometimes promos aren't chibis. I prefer the chibi promos. And sometimes they're SD and sometimes they're chibi. I don't know what the difference is because they're all chibi looking, so. Like, I think the Fate ones have SD and, like, the Attack on Titan ones. Or they weren't chibi, they were chimi. Maybe there's something they can't use the word chibi. I don't know. Like, the Card Captor Sakura promos, there were four different ones. They they were chibis, too, but they were labeled based on what her dress was in the image. So I don't I don't know why. Bushi Road hates the word chibi confirmed, question mark. I have no idea. But we have a double R acquiring freedom, a Reshki guy. Goddess of Revenge, Gorgon. That person looks evil. I don't know if they are evil, but they look very, very sus. I don't know if you guys have seen that Twitter controversy over some Crunchyroll sub. The one chick used the word sus, and this person threw a fit saying sus isn't a word. And in like 10 years, no one's going to know what they're talking about. I don't understand. Double R, Goddess Who Rules Over Venus, Ishtar. I feel like I've been out of anime culture for such a long time, just like with casual consumption of stuff and not really starting new series because I don't want to get... Because I have a problem, as you guys may notice, there's random Naruto Funko Pops in the background because I just started watching Naruto. Whenever I start a new show and I like it, I need to buy a bunch of merch. So I just choose not to watch stuff. Be like, oh, hey, all the fate stuff's super popular. I'm like, I know there's a lot of fate merch. I'm going to stay away. I'm going to stay away from it. There's really cool statues and stuff. But if I don't know what it is, there's no reason for me to buy it. Pro tip. Like, the same reason I wouldn't be able, I can't start No Hero, um, Boku No Hero. I can't because I will just buy a bunch of My Hero Academia merch. I can't do it. Or Jujutsu Kaisen is like one of the new upcoming super popular things, at least from my understanding, is getting pretty up there in popularity. I can't start that one either because then I'll just want all this random merch. So I just choose not to start new shows. So of course, obviously, I start a 700 episode series that has a bunch of stuff, and now I need it. This is why I don't start new things. Special Honorary Advisor of Chaldea's Tech Division, Leonardo da Vinci. I just like reading that card whenever it comes up, because it's such a long name. So I don't, I don't know why I chose to do that to myself, but... I'm having a good time watching Naruto. Raising her shield mash. So no matter how good Fate is, I won't let myself get sucked into it. Because there's so many different... There's Fate Stay Night, Fate Grand Order, Fate Apocrypha. I feel like there's some other ones. And then there's all just kinds of different... That's too much for me. There's too much going on. I can't just casually enjoy something. Ooh, we have something shiny here. Foil number one of box number three is an SR, Coordination with Comrades. Mash. So we've had two triple R's and two SR's now, including one SP. Well, not including. You guys know what I was trying to say. But the thing is, I also don't want to start shows that don't have merch, because then be like, man, I want a figure of this character, but they don't exist. That's the struggle with Pandora Hearts, is like, there's nothing. I know Pandora Hearts is almost 10 years old at this point, but they need to give Pandora Hearts the full Metal Alchemist treatment. Just reboot it. Just go through it. Need it. Because I have friends I want to, walk, to read it, but they just don't like reading manga, and it's like, you need to see this. Um, if you guys aren't ready for pain and suffering, don't read Pandora Hearts. But I would give a kidney for a Xerxes Break Acura Ishida SP. I'm just saying. Just saying. Bushi Road. 
Bushiro. If you want to get into some stuff for the licenses, probably don't cost that much because it's old. Add Bushi Road, please. Please. Sponsor me. Please. Anyways. I would. I would. It's so good. Because, the, uh, the of course, the manga wasn't finished when the anime just decided it was going to stop. So, like, the ending of the anime is trash. You can stop watching, I think, at, like, episode 23 and then just start reading from there. I think it's, what, 25 episodes? 26? I don't think it's 24. 21 and 22 are important. So I think you can go to 23, and then I think you can stop if you were to watch it, and then just read from then on out. It's wild. I would recommend it. Like I said, if you if you don't like suffering, don't. Anyways. Actually, I often see people putting out polls like what people would like to see for future Y sets. And I often see people asking. It's weird because it's not even the same person. Like, every time I see it, I'm like, yeah, I'd want that. And then I'm also like, I didn't realize it was so popular. Uh, if you guys have been around the channel before, you guys might know I like Clamp. Rocking out my Caro shirt today, just just cuz. Uh, but I love Clamp stuff. I will consume any Clamp media. But I always see people saying they'd love a Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle set. And I'm like, there's other people besides me that would want a Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle set? What? I would go nuts. You'd see, like, live case break of Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicles. Allie, why are you opening this? Because I'm a degenerate and I bought it for myself and we're opening it on the channel. That That's what would happen if they, that came out as a set. But I'm always surprised. I'm like, wow, I didn't realize it was that popular. Like, I feel like that might sound weird to some people. You're like, Ali, how'd you know that's not popular? Or that, that how'd you not know that was popular? Be like, I'm just, I feel like I'm in my own little bubble. Like, I will go crazy about anything clamp. So to me, everything is the greatest. And then I, I it's like, I know there's like, maybe like, maybe a hundred thousand other people on the planet that like Angelic Layer. Or like, just, I would throw my whole wallet, would throw my whole bank account at an Angelic Layer Y set. Give me a Shirahime SSP. Come on. I need it to exist. Come on. Or like a Magic Knight Rare set. Give me Clamp Bunko. That's what I want. That actually sounds horrendous. But give me a really large Clamp Bunko set where every Clamp series has its own segment and it all has SPs, SSPs, and there's some crazy secrets. You could just have like a Madoka set. Or not Madoka, Mokana. I always, why did I say that? Mokana. Just Mokana and everything. Just a set of secret Mokanas. Like from Magic Knight, Rare Mokana, other Mokana, Tsubasa Mokana. Sometimes my own genius scares me. I don't know. Now that's what I want, and I hate myself for coming up with that idea. Why, why would I think of that? Why would I speak that into existence? That would be expensive. Look, if they make Clamp Bunko, I will actually start to learn how to play wise. That's that's the deal, Bushi Road. At Bushi Road. I should just title the video at Bushi Road. Or not. I don't know if it would work. Double R time for the final battle of Gilgamesh. We've only had one foil in this box so far. It was an SR Mash, if I remember correctly. We are getting close to the end of box number three here. Perhaps this might not be the world's longest personal break. We're about half an hour in. Reassuring ally Ishtar. Turns out Ally Rage talking about Clamp Weiss sets actually makes her open faster. Who would have thought that giving me something to talk about makes my hands go faster? I don't know. It's almost like I'm, I'm good at my job or something. I don't know. But we do have another foil here. We have a Triple R Emerged Fault. Emerged Fault. So each box... Now, has been a two foil box. Very nice to see. Three for three so far. Can we do all five? I wouldn't expect it, but definitely we'll take that here for one. Looking for more SPs. Maybe another secret mash. Two boxes remain here. We have one SP. I'm feeling good. I feel like we should get at least two SPs here. That is my hopes and dreams for these boxes. We have Shared Journey Mash. I'd like to find, in person, the SP Ishtar, because she's gorgeous. 
I've seen a picture of it. I've seen like the scan on like JKTCG's website. I was actually before we started recording, I was getting ready. I was just gonna go open the tab just for price reference. I'm like, oh yeah, that that doesn't exist anymore. Their website's still up with pictures if you guys want to look, but JKTCG took down all their prices. So, observing the state of Battle Kingu, Clamp Boomco. Why would I? That's how that would work, though, right? Clamp Boomco. My dreams are crushed, because obviously it's never going to happen. That's what I would want. Is there? Did they ever put out a poll? Some companies like to put out polls for stuff. Does Bushi Red ever do polls for Y sets? Do I need to make like a bunch of accounts somewhere? Most recent poll I voted in, which actually it's like now I gotta wake up 4 a.m. on Monday. But my favorite K-pop artist, Yeasung, because I like K-pop, obviously. I'm one of those. Uh, did actually like a, a Google, a Google survey, <laughs> and apparently. You know, for his new album that he has, he has a new mini album coming out. Uh, it, it's like 5 p.m. Korea time or something. But, so it comes out to 4 a.m. on Monday. He had a vote for his the favorite song of his. His favorite OST for like, you know, uh, TV drama or whatever. And also, what you'd like to hear him sing could be any group song. So I typed in all different kinds of stuff. I had the, the two of them were, two of the, the first two, the favorite of his song and the favorite OST that he's done. Uh, where you had to check, so I was like, what is the G Korean name for Cinderella sister? I had to find that out, and I was like, alright, this one. Um, I voted for Parallel Lines for his best song. Hey, look at that! We're f not... darn it. Thought we had a Reshki guy already, but we have another Ishtar, second Ishtar promo. What did I vote for? I think I voted for Shiny Celine 623 for the one I'd like for him to cover. I thought that'd be nice. Um, but he's gonna he's gonna be singing along. It's gonna be like a little promo special, and then he's actually going to sing all the three winners of the poll. So I have to get up and see if I won. I don't know. I just I have to, and I'm like, oh. Oh. the things I do for love. I guess I don't know. I don't want to get up at four a.m. on some Monday. At least I could just go back to sleep after. But still, it's like, oh. why do I do this to myself? Steady accumulation of Reshki guy. So, like, has anyone got polls? There's also Mega House had a poll for what you would like their next Yu-Gi-Oh! Artworks monster to be. It had a bunch of options. I found out through the YG organization website. They had uh, translations for all the options. I voted for, I think, I think I voted for... Did I vote for Cyber Dragon? Did I vote for the uh, the Fusion... Cyber Dragon. What? Is... I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm, I'm just blanking. Not Cyber Dragon Infinity. Not regular Cyber Dragon. The the triple. The 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 Cyber Dragon comparable of Blue Eyes Ultimate. I don't know. I'm a I'm a failure. I guess I don't know. But they had a they had a poll. Long story short, does anyone know Bushi Road has polls? I'd like to participate in voting for Clamp Boom Co. Look, if they if the next set that gets announced for Weiss Japan is Clamp Boom Co., I will go buy a lottery ticket. I I don't feel like I'm on to something, but maybe I am. I don't know. All right, we have Rare Pledge Severed Reshki Guy. Box number four. Let's see if we'll keep up the hot streak. Two foil box, perhaps for hits. Number one, four, two. So it's an at least four card promo set. I thought it was five. Maybe it's four. We'll see with the next box if we find a different promo for one or if it's a duplicate. I'm trying to figure out what to title this video. Because the unfortunate thing about Weiss is the titles of the videos tend to be very long, so then, like, the actual product names. So they don't have much space for, like, actual titles. Like, I was struggling with the Konosuba movie ones. I was struggling to fit titles that I, I enjoyed, that I felt like were relevant to the video. Not completely weird. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll title it at Bushi Road. 
Clamp Boomco something. You guys already know what it is titled. I do not yet. Double R, trust in her master. Ma master. Sure. What's that called? A portmanteau? Master. Trust in her master. Mash Kyrie Light is the name of the card. So I just said trust in her mash. Got a style contract Ishtar. Give us SP Ishtar, please. I mean, I'd like to find what Juan wants the most, but I don't know what Juan wants, so I'm voting for S SP Ishtar. She's so pretty. Observing the state of battle, Kingu. All that was wished for, King Yu. Raising her shield, Mash. Grandcaster Merlin. There's a pile of pack corpses over here. Let's slide them off the table into the trash can. All right, now that my my scissor dropping area is clear, I can continue. Looks like we're about halfway through with box number four. We have not found a foil here yet. Attacked by formidable enemy Fujimaro and Match. Head on fight, Quetzcoddle. So what would they highlight in a Clamp Boonko? I don't know how many different series are typically in a Boonko set. I think maybe like five or six. I feel like that that's an amount that would be enough. Already done Card Captor Sonker, a clear card though. You could put some OG Card Captor in it. You could put, of course, Tsubasa. That would probably be what would the most popular. Um... I'd vote for Angelic Lair. I don't know if Angelic Lair would make the cut. What would be worse? Clamp Boonko existing and there not being Angelic Lair in it? Or just like never a clamp set ever again? I feel like Clamp Boonko existing with no Angelic Lair would be worse for me, personally. But they'd, pro they'd have to, I would think they're just based on popularity. You'd have Magic Knight Rider, Reservoir Chronicle. Original card captor sock group. Maybe not like too much. Did you already have clear card? So there's three. I I'd vote Angelic Lair, but that I think Chobits Chobits would have to make the cut. So there's four. So let, let's just suppose six in a Boonko set, because I really have no idea. Now what other clamp titles would make it? I feel like they'd probably try and throw Code GS in there. Clamp did do the character design for Code GS, but they didn't write it. Double R requiring freedom, Areshki guy. If you're going to put Reservoir Chronicle in there, you got to have Holic. That's five. Plus or minus Code GS. I don't think they should, but I don't know that they wouldn't. I don't know. Whoa, we have an SR here requiring freedom, Areshki guy. That's our, I think, is that our first foil? Or was the triple R? One, two, three, oh. Okay, so that is our first foil of the box. Got confused, just wanted to go ahead and count. First foil of box number four is Acquiring Freedom, Reshki Guy. Put it on the bottom with our other SRs. Now what, what else What else would make the cut for a Clamp Boonco? Let's say we're going to six. Scratch Koji as. Wise King's Orders, Gilgamesh. I'd vote for Angelic Lair, but... I don't know if they want to go full nostalgia, maybe get Tokyo Babylon. I mean, I, w I would definitely like uh, Clamp School Detectives. I 
I have some original cells of Nokuru and Suo from Plant School Detectives. Reassuring ally Ishtar. There's actually a pretty old video here in the channel. I got I actually got some Cardcaptor Sakura cells in. They didn't fit in my I think it's a scrapbook because they're acid free pages. Didn't fit my scrapbook actually, so I still need to get them. I have them right now in top loaders, which is not a safe way to store them. I need to get like Itoya portfolios. I just have to measure them out and actually just do it. That reminds me, that is something I should actually get to pretty soon. But for now they're okay. Because top loaders, I think, are technically not acid free. I mean, there's you always want to put your stuff in penny sleeves before you put it in top loaders. The box is empty, by the way. I like showing the empty boxes. There's been once, hey, we have an SD Kingu, which is number three. So we have 101 through 104. So if it's a it's a five promo set, we did miss one. Otherwise, we actually did get all four here. Gilgamesh, two Ishtars, a Mash, and a Kingu. But all right, here we go, last box. Three two foils, one one foil, one SP. I'm hoping for a second here for Juan. There's only, of course, one way to find out. One way to find out. Uh huh. Puns. My ideal lineup would be Card Captor, Reservoir Chronicle, Chobits, Angelic Lair. Original, original uh, card cap. Okay. All right. Card captor original. Chobits. Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle. Angelic Lair. Put Holic in there because it kind of go. It you need it to match with the uh, Reservoir Chronicle. And then I I'd want Clamp School Detectives. But what what else? What other Clamp stuff out there exists? You have Gate Seven. You have Wish. You have Drug and Drop. And then legal drug. Gate seven, I think, was put on hiatus, never finished. Same thing with drug and drop. The sequel to legal drug, which had the same thing happen to it. Um, Clover, Tokyo Babylon, Clamp School Detectives, Clamp School Defenders? Question mark. All that was wished for Kingu. You have RG Veda, which is actually a scale figure coming out of some dude from RG Veda been such a long time. I'm like, I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna have to buy it. So I gotta go ahead and read that at some point. Kobato. Ooh. Kobato was great. I love Kobato. Share Journey Match. Anyone else is a Clamp fan? Let me know what your ideal 6-6 six, six series Clamp Bunko would be in the comments. It's Clamp's, what, 30th anniversary? 25th something, 30th something in there. It's a big anniversary. I'm getting myself hyped up for no reason. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I want to be acknowledged if Clamp Boonco exists this year. My hopes and dreams on something that will never happen. That's okay. I'll wait for the, uh, the ball to drop on New Year's Eve this year and then just be heartbroken and be like, Man, I knew my Clamp Boonco would never exist. Special Honorary Advisor of Chaldea's Tech Division, Leonardo da Vinci. Is that the longest title on a Wise card? I feel like it has to be up there. Steady Accumulation, Oreshki Guide. High Priestess of Uruk Siduri. Towards the final singularity mash. It's a double R, wrong file. Whoopsies. Come on, last box. We're depending on you here to find a second SP. Please, please, please. Double R, king who leads people, Gilgamesh. If Gilgamesh is the king, who is Kingu? That's something I've been wondering this whole time we've been opening Grand Order boxes since release date. If Gilgamesh is the king who leads people, who is Kingu? Because you think he'd be the king, like it's in the name. I don't know. If 
Battle Wars Sand Clouds Whirl, Gilgamesh. Quite convincing, nonetheless, is the flavor text on that Gilgamesh card. Firing a shot at a god, Ishtar. Brimming with power, Anna. Goddess of Revenge, Gorgon. Splendid appearance, Ureshki guy. Getting close to the end of box number five. Come on, box. Come on. You can do it. Give us something sweet. Absolute tactics, Kingu. Not to be confused with Final Fantasy tactics. Battle with a strong enemy, MASH. Three packs remain. Might be getting a little bit nervous. A little bit. Where's our foils? Goddess who rules over Venus. Ishtar, double R. Ishtar, double R. Second to final pack here for one. Pack number 19 of box number five. Pack number 99 total. We have Emerged Fault, Triple R. I think we found Emerged Fault as well in box number three. And all right, looking for some absolute last pack magic here. Pack number 100 of the video. 47 minutes for 100 packs. It's not that bad. Let's see. Last pack here for one. We're slow rolling it. No spoilers allowed. Hopefully I don't give myself a paper cut. We have Leonardo da Vinci, Ishtar, King U, Terrorizing Gla Gaze, Glaze, that makes no sense, Resilient Heart, Romani, it is another foil, but it is an SR, oddly enough, this box is a duplicate, I think exactly a box number three. Acquiring Freedom, a Reshki guy. So just one SP here in these five boxes. Still pleased to see one. Bots would have loved to see two here. That was my personal goal for one. One, time for the final battle, Gilgamesh. And actually ended up with one SR and one triple R duplicate. Based on the piling here, so it looks like actually that a Reshki guy was our only foil from box number four. So... Even though we only found one SP, four out of five boxes did have two foils in them, so that is definitely a positive here. But let's go ahead and do a recap, starting with that Gilgamesh. Time for the final battle, Gilgamesh. SP. For our triple R's, we did find three different, four total, two emerged faults, one recollection through battle, and one belief in her choice. Then for our SRs, four total, again, one duplicate, so three separate ones. We had Battle Wear Sand Clouds World, Gilgamesh, Coordination with Comrades, MASH, and two Acquiring Freedom, Oreshki Guys. Let's also take a look at our promo. Again, if it's a five-card set, we were missing one. If it's a four-card set, we did get them all. Had SD Kingu, SD MASH, SD Ishtar times two. She's the cutest, though. And SD Gilgamesh. And since we do have a large pile here of double R's, I know we had at least one of each. Just go through them real quick. Won't stop to look at any in particular. Oh, 
All right. And that does it here for these five boxes for Juan. Thank you so much, Juan, for letting me open up even more Wise here for you on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening. I know there's a lot of really weird ramblings. Clamp Boomco at Bushi Road whining about Rudy raising all of my JoJo single prices. But I hope you enjoy the video. And of course, love all of these new additions to your collection. I was really hoping to get two SPs for you here. I guess maybe one is in the shop or something like that. Definitely have to go check. I think there was a box open for packs, but if not, maybe someone took some home. It is unfortunate that we do share the inventory because I don't know what goes where. I do keep most of it over here, but stuff gets mixed up on occasion. But of course, we are now into a fresh case of Grand Order. So maybe another secret in this case, maybe more SPs. Hopefully awesome stuff. If anyone continues to buy more Grand Order boxes, I know they have gotten a little bit expensive. So I feel like people won't be buying Weiss for a little bit, but when Bofuri comes out later next month, it's almost May, not quite, but we'll have Bofuri, Bofuri here on the channel when that comes out. But that does it for this one here. I hope you all enjoyed the video, whether your name is Juan or not. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit, hit that like button. Comments for me, questions, Allie, why are you insane about Clamp? Go ahead and leave all that for me down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Card Sailing, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much for all going for above and beyond with your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. To have six Black Label fans, Anden, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Sean F., Stephen Olival, and Stephen Bly. We also do have 10 Gem Mint fans, Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chris Rivers, D. Von, Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Atchie Geek, Jake Ryan O.C., Joe Howe, Michael C., and Scorecard Collectibles. But thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on the screen at the end of every video. But that does it for me here tonight on Weiss. We'll try my best to get up two more videos tonight. Collector booster boxes of Strixhaven for both of those. So you guys will either see them tonight or you won't. But I should be back later for at least one more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!